Hi everybody, I am covering chapter 10 of our book, which is Funding Problems and Financial Management. So right in the first section of this chapter, our author outlines that there are several types of gerontologist administrators and kind of just shows us that every single one of them has problems when it comes to budgeting. So he says that there are both public and private and the private gerontologist as administrators would be those working for corporations or for small businesses. Now, when you work for a corporation, unless you're the head honcho, you don't typically get all that much control over your budget because it comes out of a central location and everything about it is controlled through that one part. In a small business, which is usually something like home health care, case management, the owner-manager controls all of the money. Uh, the problem there is they usually don't have all that much money to begin with. When it comes to the public sector, the government controls most of the money, and a lot of times what it's used for is politically fueled. So where do these administrators get their money from? Well, there are six sources that are talked about in the book. The first is general revenue. And general revenue is just funds from taxes, fees, investments, local, federal, government money that is allocated to them, and money that has been given to them by the Older Americans Act. The second one is insurance, both private and social. And those are the ones that we use to pay for these kinds of health care. And they are health, mental health, human services, uh, usually things like Medicare and Medicaid as well. So consumer payments would be things that come right out of the, you know, the, the resident's pocket or the family's pocket. And they're just fees for services. The fourth one that he talks about is foundations and federal agencies. Now this is something like community foundations. The one that they mention is the United Way. And some of these organizations, serve older adults, have actually established their own foundations. And in those cases, these places are the only places that receive the foundation's awards. The fifth is private philanthropy, which is direct contributions from individuals or churches or other community non-for-profit organizations. Uh, these can just be, you know, things like, oh, donating money for a bench or anything like that can fall under this category. The final kind is in-kind, and this is the provision of goods, services, or properties that come at no cost to the organization, like volunteers.